so gloomy. We had like a couple of beautiful days of spring and then um, it's just been rainy and cloudy and gross. Oh my gosh, this light will not end. This is probably my least favorite light in all of Indiana. You have to like get it by like a sneak attack and make it understand that you're here and you have places to go and you have things to do and it needs to turn green. I swear, if I were Sabrina the Teenage Witch, I would literally just, I would use my magic all the time, all the time. I just wouldn't tell anybody. I would just be like, always hit green lights. I guess this is as good as any time for me to announce that I have a shopping problem. If you watched my last vlog, you saw that I'm kind of in a weird spot where my life was pretty much spiraling um, apart. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's a hot mess right now. And the only thing giving me comfort is shopping, which is dangerous because I already am an impulse shopper. and add you know a couple extra heaps of emotion and sprinkle in a few drunk nights and yeah I have a shopping problem but oddly enough as I was leaving uh, my Ulta box that I just got was left at my door and yeah it is literally scotch taped I think it's scotch tape it smells like scotch tape. A weird fact, when I was pregnant with all three of my kids, the only thing that could help me with my like all day sickness, because I did not have morning sickness, it was all day sickness and it lasted from the time I got pregnant until well after they were born. So thanks kids, thanks a lot. But um, the only thing that would help soothe my stomach was sniffing scotch tape. That sounds like such a, like a drug addict thing, but I don't know. And even now, like when I feel nauseous or sick to my stomach, like I, you know, sniff scotch tape. It makes me sound like a really big weirdo. There's Ulta. I guess I'm not going to Ulta right now. I really want to go into TJ Maxx, but I'm trying not to go into TJ Maxx because I recently discovered that they sell makeup. Discounted, like prestige, high-end makeup. And I probably need to not go. But I am going to the gas station because that is necessary. I need to get makeup wipes at Target. And that is it. That is legitimately all I need. And that is all I'm supposed to walk in and get. But I do want to open this box that I have from Alta and show you guys what I got in it. And I also have my BoxyCharm box for, what month is? It's April. <laughs> for April, I was gonna do a whole separate like dedicated BoxyCharm video, which I still will, but I just wanted to do the unboxing now because I'm impatient. So it's just gonna be a part of this one. Alright, well, I'm almost at the gas station. It's a sad day when $2.87 for a gallon of gas is considered a good price. I don't know. Oh, I need to take this coat off. I'm going to go to Target. I'm going to take my coat off. We're going to open some boxes. I was going to buy coffee, but then I remembered I actually planned ahead and I brought Diet Coke. It's this, it's the Blueberry Acai. It's one of those flavored Cokes. These things are so good. I don't know where to go. There's so many people. Oh man. Okay, I got this, I got this. This is why when you're driving, you should only be driving. Not talking on your cell phone, not recording yourself, not opening Diet Cokes, but just driving. Because you become a hazard to literally everybody on the road. Come on, pull forward. Yellow means you can proceed with caution. We both could have made it through the light. I feel like a linebacker in my coat. I'm never really aware of my turn signal until I'm reporting and all I can hear is my turn signal because when I edit, it is the most annoying thing ever. It is like that person that is constantly tapping their pen or constantly tapping their foot and you just wanna look at them and be like, shut up! Yeah, that's my turn signal when I'm driving and sorry. This guy is gonna stop at a place where you don't have a stop sign. You're just supposed to go, like we have the right of way. We are the right of way. Like, just go. No. We don't have a yield. There's two lanes. Oh my gosh, this person is going to kill me. Oh, girl, you did not use your turn signal. All of that. Miss, I'm so cautious. I don't want to hit anything. I don't want to break any laws. Oh, but real fast, I need to turn without using a turn signal. There we go. All by myself. 
over here, away from all of society, except for this one SUV that's deciding to go. Okay, I'm gonna turn off my car so I don't go through my $5 of gas. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and open this box from Ulta. I'm very curious to see why it's scotch taped. I don't, and it's like the laziest job. So I'm hoping that nothing's broken or missing. I don't even remember what I bought. So hopefully I have a receipt. Lately, our packages have been dropped off at the house by these super sketchy looking like serial killer vans. And they almost, they remind me of the guy, the, the car from Funny Farm, where he's like a mailman or whatever and he gets drunk and every time he goes by Chevy Chase's house, like he just throws the mail out. That's kind of who's been delivering our packages. So maybe he's just nosy and he wanted to know what all I got. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I should have six items in here. All right. One. Oh, I'm really excited about this. So you guys were my jade roller? Well, it broke. Ooh, that's like heavy. My last one was so cheap. Granted, I bought it and it cost $5. Oh my gosh. And it doesn't squeak. My last one was so squeaky. Oh, so yeah, I don't have my jade roller anymore. Um, Alta's doing their spring haul sale, which if you guys know how much I bought on their 21 Days of Beauty, um, then you'd probably be like, why are you buying more stuff, Sarah? Because I have a shopping problem. But yeah, so all of the crystal stuff by Pacifica, which is vegan and cruelty free, uh, is on sale right now. I think it's like 40% off, maybe? 20, 30% off, I don't know. So I got like a whole bunch of stuff because I need to find some new skincare. If you guys have any recommendations for skincare, let me know. I am old. Um, I have fine lines and wrinkles. I lack collagen. Um, I don't sleep. I am exposed to electronics way too frequently. Um, probably also pollution. Yeah, so if you guys have skincare recommendations that are not going to break my already fragile bank, let me know down below. This is a... <laughs> I'm going to mess this up. Bakuchiol? B-A-K-U-C-H-I-O-L. No idea. Extract. Uh, hyaluronic acid and sugar plus amethyst roll on. It's supposed to be for all skin types. It is a future youth crystal ball serum. I don't know. It's again, something that I was just like, do I need it? Probably not. Should I get it? Yeah. Um, it literally doesn't say anything. Like it doesn't make any promises. It just says that you're going to have your future looks glowing. So evidently it's going to make my, my future glow and my skin glow. I think that's what sucked me in was the fact that it's crystal and youth and vegan and cruelty free. And also like the packaging is like super pretty. Ignore my nails. Um, this is gem infused face lotion, show your glow, rose quartz, turmeric, turmeric. Have I been saying that wrong my whole life? Turmeric? I thought it was turmeric. I'm confused. Turmeric? Turmeric? Do I not know how to say that word? Uh, yeah, it's got like a whole bunch of stuff and it again doesn't tell me what to expect with it. So if it's a moisturizer, I'm hoping it moisturizes and it says show your glow. So maybe it'll make me glow too. Then I also got the crystal uh, primer, power up. It's illuminating and perfecting. Oh my gosh. And it's kind of got like some iridescence. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's got like some iridescent shimmer. That's cool. That's fun. It looks thick though. Then this is the Crystal Dew setting spray with rose quartz and flower extract. I have a feeling that this is going to stink and I'm not going to like it. Ooh. Oh yeah, that does not smell good. It smells like like floor polish. Oh, that does not smell good. Um We'll see how this works. And then I have lashes. I don't remember buying these. Full bouncy volume and curl. What is this? I don't know how to say that word. C-H-I-G. I know it's like a hairstyle, right? Chicken? Chignon? Chig? Am I making letters be pronounced that shouldn't be pronounced? Oh, they're actually really pretty. I am definitely going to wear those lashes, but I don't remember ordering them. I'm not questioning it. They sent me lashes. 
everything seems to be intact nothing is broken uh so we're just gonna move on so let me grab my boxy charm box oh i hate opening these things ouch okay so if you don't know what boxy charm is i'll go into it in like a different video but i will have a link for you to go check it out in this in the description down below i'll have a link for you to check out boxy charm so you can see it for yourself but I just want to do a quick unboxing and show you guys what all I got in the April box. And then I'll do like a whole dedicated video just to the box. And like maybe I'll use the products. So we will see. The theme this month was Peace, Love, and Boxy. And I remember because it's supposed to be like a Coachella theme since we just had Coachella this past weekend. I say we, like I went to it and you know I didn't. Um, one, I live in central Indiana. Two, I'm like too old for Coachella. I quit. I'm done. I'm just done. First of all, this is the Beauty For Real. I've never heard of this brand. It's just Finish Line 24-7 Liquid Liner. Does it have a shade? Jet Black. Ooh, I like Jet Black. I like the, like the blacker, the better, honestly. This supposedly retails for $16. Um, I don't know how many... Does it say how many milligrams or ounces? 1.5 grams. I feel like that's normal. I feel like that's pretty normal. Easy to apply, deep color, thin to thick, intensely pigmented formula, makes 24 hour smudge and budge resistant wear. Sign me up. I have like 10 billion liquid eyeliners, but I swear I need more because Oh, and then we have these. These are Luxie brushes. I have never had Luxie brushes before, but I know that they do a lot of things with um, BoxyCharm, which I'm obsessed with brushes. Give me all the brushes, especially in a subscription box because then I don't have to go out and buy them. Um, this is, it's the Summer Days 3-pack brush set. Ew, they smell. They smell like roses. I really want to be like, do you guys smell that? They smell like lilacs and roses, maybe? I don't know. So this is the small contouring brush, 512. Then this one is the 245 small shader brush. And then this one is the 209 large shader brush. I love how it's ombre. I love how it still it has like that festival, like deserty vibe. They like kill it with their themes, I swear. And even look, packaging has the big Ferris wheel from um, Coachella. I think this one is a lip product and it looks like it's seen better days. Like, what's going on, mailman? What are you doing to my packages? Why are you angry with me? This is, oh, the brushes were $28, which isn't too bad, I feel like, for three good quality. They were really soft and they felt good quality. Um, this is the Steve Laurent, uh, one part balm, three parts silk. So it, does this mean that there's silk in here? Does that make it not vegan? I'll have to look into that. Creamy lip softening texture, one of a kind hybrid gel and oil, moisturize and hydrates your lips. And it retails for $22. And I'm going to use this right now because I don't have anything on my lips. It's a pretty collar. It's like a champagne what color is it oh it's the color champagne so it's moisturizing and it's an oil it smells like vanilla cupcakes mmm that makes me want to go buy cupcakes it's kind of thick. It's not um, like sticky, it's just thick. <laughs> I cannot get it to go back together. Did I break it? No, I got it. All right, we got it. Oh wow, ooh, I was really excited about this. I saw this in the sneak peeks. This is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. It retails for $27, highly pigmented, suitable for all skin tones. Create a subtle, luminous finish. Okay, so I got the color 
Summer Haze. I don't think that's the color I wanted. They had a purple one. Pretty sure it was like Purple Haze. Purple Days? Summer Purple Days? I don't know. Oh yeah, this is definitely not the purple one. Ooh, it looks like super dark. Let me see if I can. It's like all sealed, so I'll deal with that later. But it looks like it's gonna be due too dark for my skin. Hopefully it goes on more sheer. So that, did I say how much that retails for? $27. Final product, and this one I'm really excited about. I know everybody was really upset about this. This is the Pure Festival palette, but everyone's like, oh no, not another eyeshadow palette. I love eyeshadow palettes. Please give me all the eyeshadow palettes. Aw, it's so cute. Look, I think it's cute. You have the Ferris wheel, and it looks like you're looking through sunglasses. This is so cute. 12 piece pressed pigment palette. <laughs> I feel like that's a tongue twister. Um, this retails for $36 and I actually saw that you can order this on Ulta. Um, so yeah, if you guys are not getting the BoxyCharm, which this is $36, BoxyCharm is $21 a month. I think it slightly went up. Like I think it's like 23 because they started adding tax or something. But so if you sign up for Boxy, Boxy Charm, you would get five full size products over $100 worth of value versus one full size product for $36. But this says, do, 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 complete with bold, imaginative pigments that elevate your look for any occasion. From boho metallics to eye catching glitters. Sweet. Okay, so here's the shadows. I feel like this is super duper neutral, except for like if you take out like these two shadows and those two, it's actually a really neutral palette. I don't wanna touch these because I'm gonna go into Target and I'm gonna get them all over me, but I heard these are supposed to be like some sort of gel infused uh, pressed glitters, not the shimmers. Oh my gosh, that smells good too. Okay, this smells like scotch tape. It smells like butter bronzer meets scotch tape. Oh my gosh, that actually smells really good. Why do I like the smell of adhesives? But I don't know how Pure Cosmetics is. I hear a lot of people talk bad about them and they don't like their products, which I mean, I, I'm not going to say anything because I don't have an opinion about them or about their products because I've never used them. You guys will just have to wait and see my BoxyCharm, my actual dedicated BoxyCharm video to see like swatches and stuff because I'm not doing all that. I am, however, going to go to Target. I think my husband tracked me on my phone and he might be meeting me here, which is probably for the better because that will prevent me from buying a crap ton of stuff that I don't need. He did. He just sent me a message and asked me if I was at Target. Gosh darn it. It's for the good of our finances. I'm telling you, you guys, I am spiraling. Because, and I'm going to do this as another video, because I got the Game of Thrones Vault by Urban Decay. Oh my gosh. I'm so freaking excited. I've already opened it. I've already looked at it. I haven't swatched it. I haven't worn anything yet, but I'm going to show it to you guys because it is freaking mind-blowing. Ah! See in there eyeliner it wants to jump out and run away but all right you guys I'm gonna go inside Target I'll give you an update to tell you whether or not I obey my rules behave my rules I don't know but I will see you guys in a little bit I did not just buy makeup wipes um I should have only bought makeup wipes but I do think that my purchases were still really smart um but okay, so I didn't get a ton more and I did put back an item. I got the e.l.f. makeup wipes, the cleansing cloths, two packs. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hide a pack for my daughter because she always takes one and I run out really, really, really fast. I don't know how I go through 10 times as many more makeup wipes. What is English? That didn't even sound like English. Anyway, I got e.l.f. wipes. And then I also got this e.l.f pore toner balm with green tea and witch hazel which I have like a spray toner that I use it's rose water and I'm okay with it I'm not a big rose fan um but my biggest issue with it is the sprayer on it is broken and so like it comes out as a stream and it feels like I'm shooting myself in the face with a score gun so I don't know this is like a balm I'm guessing that you just like put it on your face I don't know. Lightweight hydration, won't clog your pores. It's got green tea and witch hazel, which I haven't been having like huge breakouts, but 
my skin has been acting kind of weird so I'm hoping the witch hazel will like calm it down and finally I needed toothpaste but uh, yeah I probably could have saved a little bit of money by getting a less expensive kinds however I really do love this brand this is the hello brand um, I don't know what it is that I've tried of theirs though but it's activated charcoal with fresh mint and coconut oil. That just sounds amazing for my teeth. I hope that it does the thing where it like turns my mouth black and then like I rinse it out and then like all of a sudden have like shiny white teeth. But it's no peroxide, no artificial sweeteners, no dyes, no sulfates, no brainer, and never tested on animals. So I'm really excited about that. I got the epic whitening one. They had several. But then I also got a charcoal infused. Oh, I got soft. I need like extra soft. We'll see. We'll see. But it's a charcoal infused, biodegradable, charcoal from bamboo, super comfy handle, BPA free, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But I needed a new toothbrush. I needed new toothpaste. I just kind of went with a little more expensive kind. However, the earth and my mouth and my body and my teeth are gonna thank me in the long run. So I think I did pretty good. I did get three things that I didn't necessarily intend on getting, but there's a lot more things that I could have bought that I didn't buy, okay? Like, let's think of all the things that I had picked up and set back down. So now I should reward myself by going to TJ Maxx and opening a store credit card and spending lots of money there. I just need to get a grip on my spending, especially since Gavin graduates this year and I have to plan his graduation party. We have to pay for his cap and gown. All right, I'm going to go because it's raining really hard and you guys are probably not going to hear me. Hello, where are you going? <laughs> Don't fall off my dash. Uh, basically, I will see you guys later and I hope you guys like the video. Please make sure to subscribe, turn on your notification bell. Keep your eye out for my upcoming videos, one of which should be my dedicated BoxyCharm video, hopefully my Game of Thrones vault video, maybe my makeup collection. I also have empties. I don't know, you guys. I'm just trying to think of some stuff to do. Give me some ideas down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. So, bye!